my name is Jasmine Simpson. I'm a Stoke-on-Trent based ceramic artist. I work in sculpture and painting and I like to uh, experiment with surface pattern. I was approached by the client back in 2021 to create a towel mural for a bathroom in a townhouse in London. The mural was to be based on the willow pattern, which is a very traditional pattern, uh, especially see, seen around Stoke-on-Trent in the pottery industry. Many plates and sort of crockery designs were based around this pattern. So I was discovered very recently after graduating back in 2020 from the Royal College of Art, where I studied ceramics and glass masters. The influence of design came from original willow pattern, but the client had uh, discovered it through a book that was illustrated by Lucienne Fontanas. She was inspired by the original story of the, the willow pattern and uh, she had created multiple illustrations that were then stitched to together to create the whole entire uh, image for the mural. We had worked on this to make it a whole in entire like complete image to wrap around the, uh, the room. So we had to have a lot of working out of um, spaces and how that was going to look up on the walls and how it was going to interact with the space. We had to think about how certain images were going to lay next to certain things like the sink and the toilet and the, the shower and um, we did like nice things like uh, the large willow tree that takes up a very large feature of the mural um, creates sort of a corner of the shower so it's almost as if you were draped in the sort of willow leaves uh, while you're showering. <laughs> So after being approached um, with this project by the client, with it being a tile mural, my thoughts immediately came to Johnson's Tiles, as I've worked with them before in the past uh, on the Poppy Project, uh, which famously filled the Tower of London. Um, so I knew they were very on board with working with artists and very bespoke uh, projects. I re-approached them and they were very happy to work with me on this. It was very good to be supported by them. I could really use their expertise and um, their experience in creating large tile murals and sort of producing tiles in general. I approached them and we had uh, lots of initial interviews of how this project was going to work. That was very successful. We went forward into working with the testing labs so we could find out which sort of glazes and colours will work well and uh, from that we discovered that sort of working with cobalt oxide would be the best option which is very good because that's how the traditional tiles we used uh, were made we used cobalt oxide in those and it uh, come up with a very nice inky blue which made the tile surfaces very rich going forward from that the tests all came back um, very nice and we could bring that into production so we had a couple more meetings with the production staff and um, arranged a space for us to work and Johnson's were very good in sort of helping me with that and lending me some of their production staff to help create the tiles so um, I worked on one of the production belts and I set everything out on a large table and I would draw lay the tiles out and draw it section by section and I would hand paint every tile. They were then passed forward uh, to the production line and they could be then initially fired. And in the beginning with a couple of hiccups but working with the staff and their expertise we quickly found out the solutions to those problems. We figured that out and it kick started everything and we could really get going. I came in daily for several weeks hand painting the tiles and they would then be fired once to let the cobalt oxide get, get sort of fired into the clay body of the tile and then they would be hand dipped and glazed by some of the Johnson staff who would then fire the, them again on one of their fantastic giant belt fed kilns and um, it was all produced very quickly. We sort of had them inspected after and I was helped um, to create a quality, quality control around them. 
the thing with cobalt oxide is it contaminates very quickly so um, we had a few problems there but once I figured out how delicate you need to be with that medium um, we sort of refined the process after that uh, we went forward in uh, sort of organizing and inspecting the tiles and looking at them and I was helped by even more staff that would then help document the process and uh, take plenty of pictures and um, I could then sort of reflect on how the project was going. Yeah, overall very successful. It was extremely helpful to have Johnson tile, Johnson's Tiles on board. This is definitely not a project that I could have done easily on my own. So with the help and expertise of the staff at Johnson's, I was able to create a project that was uh, extremely successful. We had created together this beautiful tile mural, decorated this townhouse in London, and uh, I can't be more happy with it. So concluding this project, I'm extremely proud of what uh, me with Johnson Ch Don Johnson's Tiles have achieved, um, which was originally a very daunting uh, project when I was originally approached with it. Um, and Johnson's have then turned that into a very manageable and um, sort of quick, like much quicker than how I could have achieved it on my own project. It's good to know that having worked with Johnson's, I can create something like this. Going forward, I'd love to work on even more. After working out the original hiccups and getting over those first hurdles, the project actually ran very smoothly and was extremely enjoyable and working on these paintings moments were actually quite cathartic and um, it was good to start to know people in the Johnson's team and um, how they could help me and um, I know now if I was approached again with a project like this I could create something very impressive with Johnson's.